Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonPhoto.com and today we're going to talk about something that most photographers, most amateur photographers anyway, tend to ignore and that's the importance of lens hoods. Now, if like me you've got an entry level DSLR, an entry level lenses, we've got here my old 350D Canon DSLR with a 55 to 250 um, IS lens on, it won't come with a lens hood. Um, and most of us just don't bother shooting with them um, but they are really quite important things and in fact if you buy a pro lens what you'll find is that it'll cut or they always come well the Canon won't do anyway I'm not sure about Nikon come with a lens hood um, as part of the package as well so you know if the pro lenses have got one we should really be having them on our entry level ones as well so what does a lens hood do? Well, quite simply, it just goes on the end of your camera and it stops stray light coming in and hitting the lens outside the field of view that you want. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because of things called uh, like lens flare and lens glare. Sometimes we tend to think of lens flare as like those little shapes, those hexagons and stars that you kind of see. In a, in a photo um, when you're shooting into the sun or near the sun and they look quite cool but that's only one of the visible manifestations of flare or glare a lot of the time lens flare will just be a general reduction in contrast of your photograph um, and this can look really cool you know like sort of those dreamy summer photos um, they're kind of reminiscent of the 1970s where you know maybe you're shooting into the sun you know, somebody's backlit and you get that sort of low contrast look. But you might not want that. Um, and the way to control that is with a lens hood. Because if we don't have the lens hood on, what happens is light coming from directions outside of what we want to take photo of comes in and basically bounces around inside the inside of the lens um, till eventually it hits your sensor and just reduces or your, your piece of film and reduces uh, the contrast that way. So if you want that sort of look, great, don't bother with the hood, but if you do, then uh, if you don't, then definitely use hood. They're relatively inexpensive things, and they're really easy to fit. In fact, the main reason why people don't use them is because they think they're expensive, which they're not. You can go on eBay and buy this ET60 copy, I think costs, I don't know, a couple of pounds. Um, and they think, well, they're difficult to fit, but let me give you a little hint. What I always do is I always leave my lenses when it's in the bag in manual focus. Because the way you store these lenses on Canon cameras anyway is they just clip on the wrong way. Now because my lens is in manual focus mode, what I can do is I can just whip it off like that and put it on it's clicked on, back to autofocus, ready to shoot. And then when I want to take it off, put it in the bag, over to manual focus, take it off, put it on around the other way, lens cap on back in the bag really really easy that's the, that's I mean that's a big example from a telephoto lens but they're just as important on the little wide angles as well so this is the little EW60C lens for the 18 to 55 as you can see it goes on nice and neat and it'll help to reduce flare and glare in your photographs when you don't want it if you do want it take the lens hood off and shoot into the sun that's me Rob from RobNonPhoto.com with a quick guide and hint to why you should be using lens hoods.